Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Welcome to the Jungle Collectible Locations. All right, done with the riff. Had to had to make the reference. We do find six of six Intel and six of six Nano suits, and uh, we're gonna start off right here in uh, episode. Well, mission two, and we're right at the beginning. And nano pieces one through four are actually found right here. You cannot miss these. So, um, although they are unmissable, they do count towards the 25 total uh, for the suit. And um, so we're gonna make sure that they get shown here. Go ahead and select. We we uh, try to keep it pretty even after we figure out what the heck we're doing here. And uh, we go ones onesies across the boardsies all the way across. One in each category. So. Yeah, buddy. We'll take it. ka -ching. And then after that, we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the first piece of intel. So uh, we'll be tracking them individually. And as always, you can look down below and use the fast-forward travel links to get to the individual items. If you've already got all the nano suits or whatnot, go to the intel. If you already got all the intel and you want the nano suits, you get the drift. All right. So right out in the very beginning, you're going to come out the front door, and instead of heading to the right where the minefield is, where Psycho's leading you to, you're going to tuck around this back alley over here, and not until you get damn near right on top of this thing does it light up on your scanner. So the visor does actually help, but you have to be pretty close to this one, which is a little disappointing. All the other ones seem to pop up, so hopefully all the posters won't be this hard to find, but this is the first poster we encounter. And rather than collect it and add it to your Intel inventory like normal, you just take a glance at it. And we're still trying to figure out what are we doing here, but uh, we'll move on now. And this is a little bit further. So this is coming up on the second set of mines. Before you hack the second set of mines and you split up with Psycho, you're going to want to backtrack a little bit. We gave you a little quick little peek there. Uh, but you're going to literally turn around and kind of head towards the back right if you're facing the second set of mines. And then once you do that, you can hop up top and there's a little box up here which you can find. Dun -dun -dun, piece of intel. All to the yeah. So we'll add that into our inventory, and we got two pieces of intel in our bag now. All right, so now here we are. This is a little bit further. After we've found Psycho's location, we are going to it's not important. hit up a secondary mission. If you advance and go in here, you actually completely miss out on this secondary mission, um, which isn't a big deal. However, you do uh, get to gain a nano suit piece and an intel piece. Yeah, we're going to head on over here. Head, We're going to backtrack. We had just came from this, probably on the other side of the building. And who knows? Maybe you were trekking to the left and you found this all on your own. But this is pretty easily missed. We're going to use our advisor to tar target the two guys standing there. And, uh, and then we got them tagged for our viewing pleasure. And then we'll also target the data as well. So we'll sneak in. Not through the back door. No. No, no, no. No, no. That's too wet. Oh, we're going to do it anyways. Ah, so it was nice to see swimming. This is our first experience with water in Crisis 3, and it looks pretty nice, i got to say. This Crytek 3 is pretty nice. Looking pretty good there. All right, these guys, if you sneak in with your stealth on, they don't even notice you, and you can blast them before they even know what's going on, as you can see there. Now, uh, once you grab the intel on the left here, you can actually hack this orange triangular thing, which happens to be a cell weapons drop. And, uh, yeah, so that, that's that's helpful. That's very helpful. And then once we grab and hack this, we will add it. We actually don't spend it this time. We keep it. We're kind of saving up right now. Don't tell anybody. We're saving up our nano suit upgrade modules. We're going to buy some really big stuff. No, I don't know what we're going to do, but that's kind of the goal. We are saving our stuff. Here you are a little bit further inside the building after you've uh, rendezvoused with uh, Psycho and taken out a few baddies. You hacked a uh, Sentinel even. You're going to find yourself progressing through, uh, after the big jump, you're going to go through this little room, and he makes a big statement about all sorts of stuff. But if you use your visor, you'll see right in the middle of the room the dead soldier has a nice piece of intel for ya. All right, so we're making pretty good ground. We're almost to uh, Intel 5. Boom, we are. 
And this one's going to be found outside and around the corner from the building that you guys work your way through in. So there's a handful of guys here. I highly recommend just slowly taking your time and uh, using stealth to take out the baddies. But you will see by using your visor that there is a piece of data on another bad guy, which is also right next to a box of ammo, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, I, I was just, I used my stealth tactics and just kept letting the guys come in. Uh, basically, in my experience, they came in in packs of two, so I would just take them out, and then they'd say, oh, what's going on? And then two more would come in, huh, what's wrong? And I just did that. I think I took out eight different guys, and then I made my way around to the right-hand side. Now you can see we're making our way all the way across this big, I don't know if it's an atrium or what, but uh, it's a big area and there's a giant tree in it. And if you use your visor along this path, this is literally in the same area as that last one. So don't go too far. Turn and use your visor from the last one and you should see this one out in the middle. And as you can see, I had to crouch and crawl under uh, some sort of a structure there. And it allowed us to get under there. i show you on the map real quick. Map is probably not as handy as it can be in other games, but it definitely helps to give you a point of reference. You can see if you're too far or too short along in the story. And the story does allow you to progress back and forth at times. There are doors that get closed on you, so be careful and don't expect to be able to travel all the way back to the beginning of the level. And, uh, yeah, so this is up top. This is just story progression. You actually have to make your way up and around. This is right above the last two we just grabbed. And once you drop down in here, the story wants you to push forward, which naturally you probably would. But if you turn around and look behind you, there is a old train car down here. And your visor will actually show you that that same icon that we found the nano suit module. So one can only assume that, yep, guess what? It's the sixth and final nano suit module. So we'll make our way into that old train car. There's actually multiple doors. It, I made it a lot harder than it really is. Or made it look a lot harder than it really was. And that will go ahead and wrap up Mission 2, Welcome to the Jungle, where we found all six pieces of intel and all six nano suit module upgrades. And, uh, yeah, kind of breezed through that, didn't we? That was pretty fast. All right, feel free to head on over to Facebook and Twitter. And as always, the option to subscribe and vote is down below, too. And if you missed out in the uh, previous statement, we do actually have the quick links for you to travel to the individual modules and pieces. So get on to it and get on down, because guess what? Next time, up.